वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैव नोट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल दिस इज़ द प्लेस वेयर यू कैन लर्न माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन ट्यून इन डिटेल्स वेदर यू आर इन ट्यून एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर और एनी एम डी एम सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर यू अबाउट दिस एप्पल इनरोलमेंट टाइप मोस्ट ऑफ यू मे बी यू ऑलरेडी नो देर आर टू वे ऑफ इनरोलमेंट or enrolling the iOS devices into Microsoft Intune. So if you are Apple expert, you just have to watch this video how you can manage your and control your iOS devices and how to enroll your iOS devices into Microsoft Intune. I know this is very easy, but yeah for those you don't know, I can show you and explain you how you can enroll. So this is microsoft intune portal and as you can see here you have to go to the devices you must be have the intune admin rights or permissions to access this console whether you working as a freelancer consultant or or in a intune admin any organization click on ios because we are talking about ios the first is prerequisites you already know I have already made video how you can connect your Intune environment and connect to the Apple APN server, Apple server, so that your Intune environment or Intune system can connect to the Apple server and validate whether this device is valid or not or genuine or not. Okay. So, my, I assuming that you have completed these prerequisites. Okay. Once the prerequisite has been completed, if not, then you can go and watch my video. There is just search for the Apple, how to, how, what is the prerequisite and how to uh, bind your Intune to the, uh, with the Apple server, okay? So you see the bulk enrollment method. That I already made video how you can configure through Apple configurator or Apple business manager. Now enrollment option. So under enrollment options, we'll be talking about this enrollment type, okay? So you see there is two type of enrollment, user enrollment and device enrollment. So what is this? So you may be wondering what this user and device. Simply I can tell you in this layman word, the user enrollment is for the personal devices and it's device enrollment type is for the company on devices okay if you want to learn more in case you can read this article if you just click on learn more you can click on this article and you can go through this article which is published by the Microsoft so you can see here set up the user enrollment with the company for personal devices enrolling into our iTunes. So I will told you. And this method actually user enrollment method will give you the limited access to limited but appropriate set of devices management setting and actions. You can product work data without affecting the users, affecting the device users personal data. So you can product your company data like similar if you are working as a Android, you can see the work profile and personal profile, right? For BOID. So those kind of segregation between work and personal data, it's available on and iOS devices with user enrollment method. So if you want to enable the BOID for Apple devices, you should use this user enrollment method, right? And if you have a company iOS devices, you can go for the device enrollment method. So there is, as I mentioned, these are the prerequisites I've already mentioned you, you have to do. Let's go and create this new profile. So create new profile iOS and saying user enrollment for BOID, for Apple BOID devices. Okay. You can give any name, whatever, or descriptions. The enrollment type you see here, there are many options. So if you require users to select their device type, 
personal devices will enroll with the user enrollment and corporate devices will enroll with the device enrollment. If you don't require users to select their device type, whether it's personal or company owned, device will enroll with the selected default options. So you can, you can learn more about this, the difference between the user enrollment and company uh, device enrollment, okay? So here you see user enrollment with company portal. So what is, say user, your BOID users, your personal device users can enroll the devices with the company portal. Account driven user enrollment. This is also for BOID, but I will show you later what is account driven user enrollment, okay? Or if you just click on this article, okay, let me cap it to, you see account driven Apple user enrollment. So set up an account driven user enrollment for personal devices enrolling. Account driven user enrollment provide a faster and more user friendly enrollment experience than the user enrollment with the company portal. So the device user initiate enrollment by signing into the work account in the setting apps and after user approved device management, the enrollment profile silently install and in tune policies and apps will apply. So what Intune just uses just-in-time registration and the Microsoft Authenticator app for Authenticate to reduce to reduce the number of time user have to sign in. So for this, you have to use the just-in-time registrations. I have already made video how you can create a profile and how you can do this and use this account driven. So this is actually based if you have a plan to use just-in so that but this is also for BYD. It is better than the this one, user enrollment with the company portal. Because in this case, the profile will silently get installed as soon as the you sign in with the authenticator application. Device enrollment with the company portal is for company based, web based, it's a company based um, uh, company enrollment and de determined based on the user choice. So if you want to give you, your users to whether they can select whether it's a BOID or company owned devices you can select it so you can create all five and then you can prioritize which one will take the first one so I am selecting this one user enrollment or account driven user enrollment click next you can select all groups or specific groups next I'm just creating this policy I will show you and then I'll next I will create one more uh, <clears throat> device enrollment device enrollment with four COD device okay give name okay so I am selecting device enrollment with the company portal okay yeah next I'm selecting that's it you see here the priority is one two right so I have selected user enrollment let me create one more profile user enrollment for BYD devices user enrollment for BYD devices I'm selecting account driven so let me user account driven so the important say make sure you putting valid account driven user enrollment okay next I'm selecting next next so now we have two so the first you can I, I, I want to use the user enrollment in the last so I just drag and drop how you can do this see here yeah I, I, okay you see here I want to use this account driven enrollment at the first and then user enrollment for BYD and the third one is device enrollment. If you want to be on top on device enrollment, you just drag and drop and this profile will get applied. Okay. So if user is a part of the assignment group, the first it will enroll as a company owned device. So you can prioritize. So what is this benefit of this prioritization? I will show you what is the benefit of this priority so in tune apply enrollment profile in order to prioritize them the change so you can just drag and drop 
If a conflict occur because a user is assigned more than one profile, in tune apply the profile with the higher profiles, right? So, so if any conflict will occur because of user is assigned to more than like if you you have put POID users in this group and this group as well, but your profile is this profile will get applied because of priority, right? So if user is a part of both the policies. This policy will take precedence over this one okay so I hope you learn and try and see how many profiles type are there for iOS devices there are many ways like Android to manage your uh, iOS devices bring your own devices with the user profile try this method and enroll and see till then thank you have a good day